Where did you leave off? <laughs> oh, you already planned? This morning we're going to install this uh, rebuild engine into this John Deere 4230. Got the engine most of the way assembled. Last night, clutch and flywheel are on, and we're getting ready to drop it in. Okay, so we got the engine back in. The next step is to put on these M&W um, thermostat housing. So, just to show you guys what, what the difference is here. Uh, these are the Deer thermostat housings. And you can see they go, they get the thermostats facing towards the, uh, the exhaust manifold. Whereas the M&W ones, they've got a, a wider bend to them. They get them out a little bit farther, but they actually go the opposite direction and go over the valve cover to kind of get away from that heat a little bit better and to get a more accurate reading of what the coolant's actually doing. So we got those all cleaned off. We're going to gasket them down, bolt them down, and it should be good. So Jake's gotten a lot done since uh, since the last time I recorded. Uh, I had to go to class and then I went and picked up the radiator from Freeburg. Uh, so he's got the second half of this uh, two-piece manifold, m &W manifold on here. And he's also got the turbo uh, mounted on here. It's not rebuilt or anything, it's just off of a another tractor. Um, so we're not sure if it's gonna leak. Uh, it's just something we're gonna have to check. I am gonna take off this nipple though on the bottom and cut a new gasket for it just so we know that, that that's ready to go and that's not going to leak, but it could still leak uh, internally or from uh, here. It had a lot of oil on it, so we're not sure what's, what's going to happen. We got this nipple. That's going to go down here in the block. That's the last plug that I did not put back in on the other video. That's going to go in there with some Teflon and that'll be the uh, drain line for the turbo. Uh, he's also got the uh, this top pipe back on the M&W uh, thermostat housings with those gaskets in and the new thermostats in. Now we are waiting, we're gonna paint this and there's a shield that goes over it. We're gonna paint that as well. Get that bolted on there and get our intake bolted on there. I got my gaskets glued down right now so they don't go anywhere when we put it on. He's also got the injection pump on and this front cover. That's uh, where your timing is for this engine and the uh, the pulley so sorry i didn't get that on uh on camera but i wasn't here so in the meantime i'm going to get all this piping cleaned up and ready to go and we'll get that all routed So we went ahead and got new injectors from Steiner. Um, 
we didn't get the old ones tested, but since we're trying to squeeze as much horsepower as we can out of this tractor, um, for 35 bucks a piece, you can't can't really beat that. So that's the story here. Uh, I, I can't say for sure what the price was on uh, deer injectors, but I I believe Jake said it was a hundred something dollars a piece. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, what Steiner's offering here. So we're this is the first time we're testing them out, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, I got the fuel line assembly here. It's kind of a mess, but it's not near as bad as it looks. It pretty much bolts on just like that. These clamps kept everything in where they should be, except for this guy on the front cylinder. He fell off, so um, I'm not going to worry about that one for now. I'll piece him in once I get these other five going. Keeping everything loose at this point because we don't want to put ourselves in a situation where we, where we can't get something back together. So get all these started like this. That looks pretty close. Cause that'll go up into there. Yeah, that's, that should be right there. All right, we got the pump on and both lines for that, and we're pretty much ready to push it back together. Jake's over here doing... Running the wire brush. Yeah. Working with my hands here. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that half on this half. Now is a good time to show you guys the next step with the kit. So this is where it gets a little more involved. Uh, we've got the pipe that comes from the air cleaner here. Comes up and over the radiator. So normally, without the kit, this pipe would shoot right down into the intake manifold. But now with the turbo, um, that's where the uh, pressurized side of the air of the turbo goes to. So now, we have this. You can see behind here, this pipe. This pipe goes to the uh, compressor side of the turbo. So we're taking our pipe here, and we got it pretty close to where it's going to be. Um, I'm going to mess with this pipe a little bit more to see if I can't get it to line up just a hair better. And then we'll cut it off where it meets up with that pipe and throw a hose on it and we should be good to go. We're gonna do a test fire and we'll see if we got crank and pressure first.
So we're taking these wheels off. They are 18 434s. And for now, we're going to put a set of 9 volt hubs on there with some uh, pressed steel wheels until we get done painting it. And then we're going to put 18 438s on here. So we've got the hoist lifted up on the axle housing because uh, these are full of fluid. And we got the other side off, or Jake got the other side off already. So get these off and we'll get the other ones on. What do you think? Sounds like it's labor a little too hard. But it could be because the motor's tight. Hydraulic pressure's a little bit too high. We've got to back it down. Okay. I hear it, but it ain't terrible. So that's going to be it for 4230 part 5. Thanks for watching. Uh, we got it out. It's running. Everything's working pretty good. We're happy with it so far. Um, we got our next project already ready to go. We're going to do some work to this 4230 with the cat repower. And stay tuned for that. And then uh, weather depending and a couple of other things going on. We're hoping to dyno that 4230 this weekend and my 5020. So uh, stick around for that. And if you're still here, thanks for watching. So uh, I'm going to wrap it up here, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you.